a cake for your special occasion, whether it's a birthday or a Halloween party. Well, don't look at any more videos other than this one because today I'm showing you how to make this absolutely delicious pumpkin cake. Look at that beautiful design on the top. And if you guys would like, this is what the whole thing looks like. So don't tell me you don't want to watch this video because I know you do. Before we get started in this video, I would like you guys to hit that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell for a year of good luck. First, start off by grabbing a large bowl. In that, you want to add two cups of flour, and then three teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of baking soda, and two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. And finally, add a dash of salt. Okay, so now grab your whisk and slowly start incorporating all the ingredients together. Make sure it's well mixed in so you don't have clumps of different flavors. Set your bowl aside. Now you want to get out a big mixer, just like this. Way you want to use a paddle mixer. In your bowl, you want to add one and a quarter cup of vegetable oil and two cups of sugar. Close the lid and start mixing it. To mix it till well combined. Now you want to add yourself a splash of vanilla extract and add two cups of pumpkin puree. So add that scoop by scoop into your mixer. Now close your lid and mix it on low until well combined. Wow, it smells so good. Grab yourself four eggs, close the lid once again, and turn it on low. Now beat in one egg at a time. last egg goes in and beat it for about 30 seconds. Verily slowly and gradually start adding in your flour mixture. Yours to have a nice consistency just like this. One cup of chopped walnuts and slowly start mixing them in. Set that aside. Now grab yourself two 9 by 9 inch pans. Parchment paper. Now measure out a bit more parchment paper than you need. You want to cut yourself a slit in each corner. Just like that, it fits perfectly into your pan. Now repeat with both. Now take your batter and pour half of it into each container. Put them into your oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Until the inserted toothpick comes out clean. Now take it out of the oven and whoa, it looks so good. The reason why we put the parchment paper is, see, now we can just easily take it out and we have a clean dish. Take it off the parchment paper like that. In a large bowl, whip up two cups of heavy whipping cream and half a cup of sugar. So now you're making the whipped cream filling. Using a large knife, cut your cake in half. Now make sure it's even so that it's not thicker on one side and not the other. Put it on a tray and add a couple spoons of your whipped cream. Now I'm using this long spatula uh, kind of thing to spread it out. It's a lot easier. Now fill every single layer with your whipped cream. Put it in the fridge for 20 minutes to let it cool. In the meantime, let me show you guys my brand new cooking jacket. How do you like it? I go ahead and take it out of the fridge. Whoa, look at that. Now let's touch it up with some more icing. So now with our offset spatula, let's start patching up some spots where the icing, where there was not enough icing. Now decorate it. Decorate it with chocolate sauce and sprinkles. Well, you can decorate for any occasion for anyone. So I chose to use these long ones. You look at that. Look, one side has chocolate sauce and the other side has sprinkles. Wow, it looks professionally amazing. Cut yourself 
off a delicious slice of pumpkin cake. You can see how soft that is. Off a delicious slice of this cake. Just take a moment and look at this delicacy. It looks so delicious. And trust me, it tastes way better than what it looks. Okay guys, it's my favorite moment of cooking. The taste testing! So I got my fork here, and we have this delicious pumpkin cake. So let's try this. Ready? Go. Mmm. Oh, wow. The nuts give it a nice crunchy flavor. Um. The... The whipped cream in the middle, it makes it nice and moist. It, the cake is not like dry, dry, and it's not soaking wet. It's like a nice, pleasant, moist texture. Let's try the chocolate sauce on the top. Mm. Nice and sweet topping. Wow. Honestly, this is perfect for any occasion, mainly Halloween occasion, but honestly, like, I'm okay with cooking a pumpkin pie in the middle of summer. Like, it doesn't matter. You do you. Hey guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy this video, and I really hope you guys will be able to try this cake yourself, because it is, like, really good. Like, it's one of those really pleasant flavors so once again thank you so much for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you do not miss a single one of my recipes oh by the way friday's video will be the finale for my episodes of halloween food so on friday it will be my last pumpkin video of the season Okay, once again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!